Desmond Ross, Scottsboro, Alabama. Bill Gallagher, Chicago, Illinois. In many respects, their lives are very different. But look beyond the dusty country roads and the bustling city streets, and you'll find two men who believe we've got it. Right now, 45 degrees at all three reporting stations. Humidity 60%. Wind from the northwest at 12. Bill? Thank you, Jim. The news brought to you by Ozark Airlines. Let's look at traffic right here for the Chicago Tribune. Uh, changing it around like this and giving the consumer a, a bullseye view of, you know, coke. All right, we're already facing off our two liters, right? And the base is always faced off because the logo is right there on the front. So, you know, today in your uh, travels, you know, just take a time, you know, just pick one stop and uh, face off the cans, you know, cross, and then, you know, answer the question yourself. This morning at the meeting when uh, Octavius turned those cans around, I thought to myself, boy, that's a dumb idea. A lot of extra work for what? But then as we went along through the day, and I did a couple of accounts facing the cans, it did look impressive. It really looked impressive. If you have the time, it really makes uh, a good appearance in each account. When somebody walks in and sees it, they're, it's really noticeable when they're all faced the same way. Everybody's got ideas. Some are good, some are bad. This one seems pretty good. A lot of work, though. Probably be worth the effort, though. It's a lot of fun to sell the product, because I do like the product, which makes it, to me, very easy to sell. And it's my job to display it, uh, sell it, promote it, keep everything clean, keep cartons neat, bottles looking good, cans faced, two liters faced, display equipment clean, and it's, it's just a pleasure to sell Coke. If it was dirty, sticky, somebody would go to grab it and all of a sudden they come up and their hands stuck to it. Well, they're gonna look back, they got good clothes on, what are they gonna wipe it on? They don't serve towels on the shelf, so they wouldn't be able to pick it up. And more than likely they would put it back and they probably wouldn't even buy your product. And they'd go down, they wouldn't check another bottle, they might go down and pick up your competition's product. It's a lot of fun. There's always a challenge. Dealing with different people, different nationalities. Some people don't speak English. The Chicago market is a super competitive market. Uh, with your competition from three major companies. And it's a basically doggy dog situation. You gotta be better than the other guy or you don't make it. Because they'll steal your business as fast as they possibly can. Well, first of all, when I go on account, I try to sell myself. Get the customer to like me, just for myself. So then I can go in and I can deal with them, get my space on the shelf. Then it's my job to maintain the space. Keep a clean shelf, keep the product looking good, the dealer likes to keep a clean store, too, because they have their bosses to put up with. And the better their store looks and all departments, all phases of it, the happier they are. So if you can give them a nice, clean rack product, make it appealing, present it nice, give them good service, whatever they want, you try to give to them, it keeps them very happy. And in turn, they'll give you extra displays, extra racks, give you a prime location, so they can sell more product for you. All right, you can count yourself in then. Okay. Okay. Thanks, Fred. I'll give you an order and uh, you'll be by Tuesday and uh, we'll give you the order for Tuesday. Right on. Okay. Do a good job on the shelves though, will you? Yes, sir. Okay, well. Keeps him happy, keeps the consumer happy, keeps me happy because I sell more Coke. Uh, to me, every account is just as important from the littlest guy I make to the biggest chain I make. I make my money in all of them. Sometimes you can't depend on the chains and a little guy will help you out. You just eyeball it. If it looks bad, you have to clean it. Pull your stack from your slower shelf, say like would it would be the bottom shelf or this shelf here, move it up and then keep your product fresh. Dust the bottles a little bit. The white rack is a, is a very easy rack to keep clean. 
to maintain. You can notice everything on it. If you had spilt product, you'd see the spilt product. On a black rack, you wouldn't see it. You'd refill it. You'd put it down. You'd have the bottle glued to the shelf. Cleaning carton coolers, sometimes it's not that big a job. Maybe clean the glass doors. You would just pull your product out, check it, rotate it. But like occasionally, you'll get a can at a leak, a bottle at a little leak, and it starts at the top. Well, it's got to cover everything in the cooler all the way down right to the bottom. So now you've got to pull everything out, get hot water, soak it. Cleaning coolers is a big job, but they do sell the product for you. Looks a lot better now. That's the way I like to leave the stores. Full, clean, and neat. Housekeeping is a habit. You do it, and you just do it automatically. It's very important to your sales. got a place where people like to work together, they want to help each other, You've got great teamwork. It drives you. I think we have that in Scottsboro, Alabama. We've got a group of people that work together and they want to sell a product and they're going to sell that product. Come hell or high water, we've got what America wants and we're going to get it to them. A clean uniform, a clean product, clean truck, it's very essential. I've got a number one product to sell, and I'm a number one salesman selling that product, and uh, I love it, it's great, I wouldn't have it any other way. Housekeeping is the number one thing in my job. I take pride in keeping my product clean. I think I do a good job in keeping it clean, and uh, that's what it takes to have a good product and to sell it. Cleaning the shelves and getting down to the necessities of keeping it clean, it's a lot of work. But still, it's something that you need to do, and it just uh, essentially becomes a habit. It's just an everyday thing. Hi, Dennis. Hello, Mr. Thompson. How you doing? Pretty good, and you? Yes, sir. Boy, these bottles really collect dust. Yeah, keeps you on the move. Well, you take the people that are running the mom and pop accounts. You've got more time to spend with those people and let them know that you have feelings for them. But you get in a mom and pop store and it's just like day to day living. Uh, the people are there. Uh, they, they're slower paced. They've got time for you. And you should appreciate that because uh, that's where my living's coming from is from those people. I have to dust every time I work a, work a mom and pop store. I dust my product thoroughly. I rotate it. That's that's just part of my job. I just, I take pride in keeping my product clean. Well, you take this stop right here. Uh, once a week on rotation, we'll get it. You've got maybe some tops or something that's got a bad seal on them. Okay, if you keep your product rotated, well then you're gonna, you're gonna find that product and you're gonna get it off the shelf. I think facing the cans in the drink section is just as important as facing bottles or two liters or 16 ounce NR. As you can very well see when you, place a six pack of cans on a shelf like that compared to the cans already faced it just well it just tears the display up and I can't stand to see cans that that look out of place so we've been in a promotion tiger promotion that we're in right now and I've been facing cans ever since we started and it's really it's really been a success my routes picked up 25 or 30 percent in sales the appearance on the product is very important to me I clean my product, I rotate it, clean my shelves real good, dust my product, take away the torn cartons, replace them with good cartons, and the very last thing I do before I ever leave an outlet, I go check my cooler to be sure everything is faced out so it's staring you right there in the face, Coca-Cola. It's inviting for somebody to reach in and get one. I look at the Pepsi guy, I look at the RC guy, and I say, hey man, there ain't no way they can touch me. As far as I'm concerned, Coca-Cola's number one, but I push it. Thank you. Yes, sir. 
I push it to no end. Uh, what, what kind of box would you be interested in? A oh, cam machine that or? That if you don't drive at it, you won't stay on top. You've okay. got to get in there and work. And you can do it. You just got to set your head to do it. Nobody wants to even look at a product that's dirty. It's not tasteful. If you've got a nice, clean product, they'll buy it. Coca-Cola is a good product, but you've got to keep it clean to sell it. Whatever America wants, it's gonna get. Cause what that is, is just a business. When Americans think drink, when the drinks they think, we've got what it takes, we give you none. If it's all in the family, the Coca-Cola family, and we're proud to say, the family that sells together, What that is, it's just a business. 